What's up, y'all? This is K Tater Talk, and we're gonna discuss Game of Thrones season seven, episode four. All right, so a lot of a lot of big things happen on this episode. Um, very good. I love this episode. My best, the best episode this season. You know, it's my favorite so far because um, a legendary scene happened. I said legendary because it's so rare in the show since the first season for this to happen. Now, the thing, the big thing that happened here to me that I take from this is there were three Stark children in the same scene at the same time. They're all together. When was the last time we had that? Since season one, when they were in Winterfell before they all split up, split up with their own ways. Three. We can barely keep two in the same scene, or you know, barely keep two together. But there is three together. Check it out. You came home. On to the store. All right, so uh, Cersei hits up the Iron Bank, say that they got the money to uh, pay their debts, and yeah. Um, no, you don't got that money, Cersei. Because Khaleesi decided to bring her army and her dragon to meet up with Cersei's army. The army that had the gold. And I'm pretty sure that dragon, like, just burnt it all up. Burnt it. Khaleesi riding the dragon while it's spitting fire. That's nerdgasm right there. <laughs> Straight up nerdgasm. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that is going to go because, you know, Iron Bank already think that Cersei's going to have money, but now Cersei's in trouble because I don't think she's going to get that money. I don't think she's going to get it back because, you know, that was gold and the dragon was just spewing fire everywhere. Destroying all the little caravans and stuff, so I don't know about that one. Let's see. Um, Jon Snow convinces Khaleesi that the White Walkers are real, and I think they should just go ahead and get married. But if they marry each other, they'll have equal respect, and he won't really have to bow bow down to her. So, and plus, it will help Khaleesi out. To have, you know, the Northerners fight for her. Just saying. What else? And yeah. I, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot. Tyrion had to watch Jamie because Jamie was actually good to him. So he does love Jamie. He don't like Cersei, but he loves Jamie, and that gotta suck. Cause I was just looking at him like, damn man, that's that look on his face. That that gotta suck. I would hate that. I would hate to have to fight my brother. But that's how that's the signs they chose. But yeah. And then let's see. Let's talk about Brandon Stark. Why he gotta act so weird all of a sudden? Like when the girl I forgot her name, so she doesn't matter, she left. Before she left Winterfell, you know, she wanted to say goodbye to Brandon. And Brandon just like you know, just being weird. She was like, oh, you don't have nothing to say? Thank you. Brandon, why you gotta be a douchebag? <laughs> he's a total douche, and he's just weird. Because when he saw his sisters, he didn't show any emotion. And then he just acting like, oh, I'm not Brandon. I'm the three-hour raven. I see everything. I'm like, bro, stop being weird and explain the shit. If you explain it, people won't be looking at you all funny. That's all I'm saying. You, you just acting weird, bruh. Stop acting weird. 
Alright, uh, Theon. No, he gets back. And luckily, John doesn't kill his ass. He just won't die. He just won't die. And I hate, I hate him. Because he don't got no balls, literally, and figuratively. And he's a little punk. And he let his sister die. So, no, I don't, I don't like his character. But he does survive, so maybe there's something to being a little punk. I don't know. And, uh, let's see. Lastly, <clears throat> Jamie Noble. Well, not Jamie Noble. Where, where did I get that from? Jamie, he he's trying to lead his caravan, his group, his army back to what you call it, back to King's Landing, and Khaleesi just destroys them. She just goes through and destroys them, destroy the army. I feel sorry for him, you know. A lot of people got burned alive, and mm -mm. but they do. At least they know the that contraption they have actually works against dragons. It's strong enough to harm them. Because I thought she was gonna go down. I thought that dragon was gonna land in the water. But whatever. But Jamie survives that battle, so. At least that's what it looks like. You know, happy. I like Jamie. I like his character, so at least he survives. Oh yeah, uh, another little tidbit from that episode was Arya's sword fight skill. I'm like I didn't think that she would be able to take her like that because that won't beat the hound. She beat the hound. So that's. Really goes to show how good Arya is, but I think she just had the speed advantage. I think certain people would probably beat her, but Arya's a beast. She's a beast, you know. But uh, all right, that's it. That's all I got for you know this review. Uh, was, like I said, it's a great episode. Y'all should definitely watch it. And if you're not watching Game of Thrones, go home, binge watch every episode because it's well worth it. All right. Don't fall in love with any characters. Y'all know why. All right. So if you like the video, want to discuss, if you want to discuss this episode with me, just comment. Uh, if you like the video, just press like. Make sure you share the video and subscribe. All right. See y'all later.